There's nothing quite like chocolate. It's delicious, soothing, sensuous, and it's had a hold on us for thousands of years. Mmm, chocolate. I'm gonna like this episode. I'm Cheryl Kirschenbaum, and on this episode of Serving Up Science, we'll finally figure out what all of those percentages on dark chocolate really mean. We'll also find out what really high percentage chocolate tastes like. Okay, let's start with one of my favorite parts that's easy to overlook, chocolate. It literally grows on trees, which means there is such a thing as a chocolate forest. The wild cacao plant originated in what's now Ecuador before being domesticated at least 4,000 years ago. And it all began with dark chocolate. And it comes from these, cocoa pods. The cocoa fruit ranges tremendously in color from dark purple to orange to pale green. The pulp can have a wide range of tastes from nutty to fruity, and its seeds are bitter without the sweet chocolate notes you might expect. All in all, picking up a cocoa pod could be a disappointing experience for anyone envisioning Willy Wonka's chocolate room. To bring out the flavor we recognize as chocolate, it takes a lot of time, as well as drying and roasting. And while it may not be obvious, chocolate is a fermented food. Now we don't know everything about the history of making chocolate because the archeological evidence is limited, but there are vessels dating back to 1500 BC that still have traces of chocolate inside from the Almec people who lived in what is now Central America and Southern Mexico. Rumor has it that chocolate beverages were made for ceremonial and medicinal purposes. Then in the late 1500s, the Spanish got in on the game and brought chocolate back to Europe. They added some sugar cane, some honey, and voila, it was sweeter. But it was only reserved for the aristocracy. It wasn't until the 1820s that Europeans finally figured out how to press chocolate into a hard pellet, leading to the first bar-like consistency. During the 20th century, mass distribution greatly increased the popularity of milk chocolate, and in the late 20th century, dark chocolate reappeared and grew in popularity due to its health benefits. So let's find out more about, see, I don't wanna say health benefits twice. It's good for your body. That's good. Oh, I wasn't really gonna say. Do it like that with the Brooklyn accent. <laughs> right. <laughs> Folks where I live don't actually talk like that, but I can do it pretty yeah. well. And I can definitely do Long Island. <laughs> we should do some serious Long Island. Okay. Have my cousins on. And in the late 20th century, dark chocolate reappeared and grew in popularity due to its health perks. Joining me in the kitchen today is Barbara Wilson, owner of Mindo Chocolate. So while I pepper Barbara with questions, we'll be eating progressively darker pieces of chocolate. Think of it like the series Hot Ones, but for bittersweet things instead of spicy wings. Anyway, the first thing I wanna ask you is how do we define dark chocolate and what do the different percentages actually mean? Well, dark chocolate is anything over about 50% cocoa and there is no legal definition of dark chocolate. And the percentages mean the percentage of cocoa in the chocolate. So if it's 50% chocolate, then the rest is milk or sugar or whatever other ingredients the chocolate maker puts in the chocolate. What we have here is 67% chocolate. If you'd like to try some. Yeah, let's, let's do our, our low percentage, which I should point out is still higher than a lot of the candy bars we find here. That's a good one. What do we have next? Oh, we have a 70%, but this one's our rustic chocolate, so the texture is going to be very different. Looks different. It's, I mean. not, it's not refined uh, as much as the other chocolate you tasted, so it has um, crystals in it. Okay. Ooh, I like the rustic. This one is 77%. We're back to smoother chocolate that's been stone ground for a longer time. All right, so let's see. I'm wondering if this is gonna be a little bit bitter, if I'll still like it. Yup, I still like this one. Let's taste our darkest chocolate. We have 100% chocolate here. Oh, so when, when we're going dark, we're going as dark as you can. And what is dark chocolate known for? As far as flavor would be um, fruity notes. It is not what I expected. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad, bordering on pretty good. It's much smoother, not nearly as bitter as I thought it might be. 
And this is where how dark chocolate is made really matters. In the US, a candy bar only legally needs to be 10% cocoa to be called chocolate. And that's clearly just not going to cut it in terms of health benefits. If you're interested in chocolate's health perks, it needs to be at least 70 or 80% dark chocolate. And since we're going darker, it's worth pointing out that this is good for us. For a long time, we've known that the theobronine in chocolate can act as a stimulant, but more recently, scientists have spent a lot of time studying the science of chocolate, and the results are reason to be optimistic. So when people crave really dark chocolate, what are the notes or flavors that they're really going for? There's magnesium in chocolate, and I think a lot of people crave magnesium. Have I mentioned this is my favorite episode so far? Now that we've had our fair share of chocolate, let's turn to our panel of chocolate enthusiasts to see what wins them over. First sample, this is 67% cacao, and you're all gonna take a little taste and tell us what you think. It tastes really dark. Is it like Halloween candy? No. I like Halloween candy better. I think my taste buds are messing with me. It tastes like milk chocolate. <laughs> You look like you love it. <laughs> Do you love it? <laughs> Our next dark chocolate is 77%. It's worse than the 67%. Mm. I don't like it. Okay, I'm sorry. But it like, <laughs> it's sour. Um, it's better than the 67%. <gasps> Tastes 100% cocoa. Mm. Really? Mm -mm. <laughs> Two very different reactions. <laughs> How about you, Violet? Did you like it? Mm-hmm. Yeah? It's better than both. Really? That was painful to eat. It's not sweet, and I don't like very sweet stuff. And the winner on this panel is... 100% dark, dark chocolate. chocolate. Except for me. But what do you like best? Tell us in the comments below. And subscribe. And subscribe if you like this video. And smash that like button. <laughs>